Look what Blue Eddie sent us. This box is much bigger than the last box. So the last one was the AC80P, the portable power station. This one, AC180T. It's a brand new product and it's gonna be launched sometime soon. They've sent this for us to take a look at it, check it out and tell them what we think about it. And we get to take you guys for the ride as well. Let's open this puppy up. This one is 58 pounds, about 26 kilos. And I know that because I've got calibrated arms. Let's open it up. But I may need a little hand from my lovely assistant to get the box off here. Box within a box, nice packaging. Right. Really well packaged stuff. I think we got cables. Quality certificate. Wow, look at that. How good is that? A plus for packaging, guys. All right, well, it's a lot smaller than the box, so that's a good thing. All right, lovely assistant. I'm gonna lift, you're gonna pull the box out, ready? So, significantly bigger than the portable one that I looked at last time. And that the weight's not too bad, actually, without the box. That box is heavy. <laughs> now, the beauty of this, this is actually one of a pair. This is the power station and the other half is a fridge, freezer and ice maker. And it's still coming. They've told me to wait. It's still yet to be released and even for me to check it out. So this is 1800 watts. Whereas the last one I looked at was only 600 watts. So we can run some high powered stuff like the coffee machine can run on this. Princess's hairdryer can run on this. So let's charge it up, see what it looks like. So let's run through quickly what this thing has. It's got four AC outlets and the inverter inside here can run up to 1800 watts normally, but it's also got lifting mode, which allows you to run up to 2700 watts for short periods of time. Like your electric kettle. I mean, our coffee maker is 1800 watts, so that's about the limit, but with the power lifting mode, not an issue. You've got uh, USB-C charging ports. You've got USB-A charging ports, cigarette lighter, output for appliances that require charging from the cigarette lighter. The cables that come with it is the AC charging cable, which is, that's what we're doing right now. We're charging it up. You've also got MC4 connectors for your solar panels. This has got a built-in solar controller and you can use up to 500 watts of panels to charge this thing. And it's got its own special port for charging here. The other cable is cigarette lighter cable, so you can charge this thing from your vehicle. Same port plug adapter. Plugs in here. Now what makes this so special? It has two removable batteries. Ultimately, nearly 1400 watt hours in two separate batteries. And they're detachable. This is the first ever unit that's designed like this. And you can safely take them in and out as required. What you need to remove this for is its partner, multi-cooler fridge. What you do is you charge up the battery, plug this into your fridge, and then you can run your fridge from the two of these batteries for up to six days, depending on what conditions you're in, of course, and whether you're freezing or you're just cooling, etc. But that's what it boasts. So whilst one battery is running the multi-cooler fridge, You've got the other battery to run this with a maximum limit of 1200 watts for the inverter in that case with just one battery. But as you saw in our last video, with only 600 watts, you can run plenty. So right now we're waiting for it to charge. It started at 30% about 20 minutes ago, so it's getting up there pretty fast. And this is in standard charging mode. There's also a turbo charging mode. This thing will charge up to 80% in 45 minutes. And then it must slow down a little bit after that, the profile. But that's really fast. You can plug in 500 watts of solar panel and it will charge with ideal sunny conditions. It'll charge in about four hours. And like all Blue Eddy power stations, you can monitor things and change things via the Blue Eddy app. You pair the device using Bluetooth and then you can do some setups such as the power lifting is not default on. So you can turn that on 
You can also change the charging modes. There is standard silent or turbo charging. This is also where you can do firmware upgrades directly to the machine. And of course you can monitor the activities of the machine right here on the iPad, as well as of course on the screen. So the combination of the AC180T and the multi-cooler fridge is called the Bluetti Swap Solar Package. And you have to wait for the next video when we actually receive the fridge, we're gonna put them two together and test them. But right now, feeling like a coffee. Let's make one. All right, we've got a few appliances lined up here. Coffee maker, because it's about that time of day. So let's just start with that. This is at, rated at 1350 watts, so it's heating. So what do we got up here now? Nothing. There we go. 1300 watts, no problems at all. The good stuff, eh? And that's it, we're, we're just down to the pump. Must have been heating for 1300 watts and now we're back to 60 watts. And now I have a coffee. Would you prefer a cup of tea? All right, I'll put the kettle on. 1300 watts. And we've got the app showing as well. 1.3 kilowatts, exactly as predicted. All right, let's try this mysterious Dyson expensive hairdryer that showed up sometime. It came out of Princess's Closet. I don't know when this was acquired, but it works. It's a Dyson. It's only 800 watts. Oh, hang on. Hot. 1300 watts. Yeah. Let's check the power saw. Not under load, but just rolling. So it was a 1500 watt to start. This is an inductive load, yeah, not resistive. So that's fine. As long as it's under 1800 watts, this thing will run it. Well, this Blue Eddy unit is like all the Blue Eddy stuff that I've seen so far. The quality is, is really nice. Five year warranty on this unit. And it's saying more than 3000 cycles of, of deep discharge and recharge. But the real test will be when we get the fridge. So stay tuned for that video. We're gonna be running this fridge solely off this thing. So see you then.